Hi everybody, welcome to my floss tube. Uh, my name is Amy, I'm Fiber Arts Amy here and on Instagram. Um, my dog's hearing me talk, so now she's gonna move. She's been laying down for hours. And now she's gonna wanna either go out <laughs> or come curl up in my lap. I'll see which one she does. Oh, she's coming to me. Lay down, lay down. So you guys ready? You've already seen the title and you've already seen how long this video is. So I, you probably already know what's coming. Hi. You can stay in my lap if you want. I have no, you guys know, I don't know. I have no idea how long this is going to take, <laughs> but I am going to try to do a Marabilia. It's going to be kind of like both a stash and a whip parade. Um, and all of this is the fault of Amanda, Lucky Chance Stitcher, just to be clear. <laughs> now, it should be really fun, um, but I've always said there's no way I'm going to do one. There's no way I'm doing a whip parade of any kind because um, I just have too many. <laughs> and they're spread out all over the place. And I know that for some people that would feel very disorganized and chaotic and they would not like it. But that I like it. It works for me that way because I'm very much a like enjoy what I'm doing in the moment, stitch what I feel like at any given time kind of person. And so I do have stitching in like every room. I don't have a dedicated dedicated craft room here that everything gets kept in. So they're all over the place. And they're not organized by like designer or anything like that they're, or year alphabetically they're organized by wherever I stitched them last <laughs> because like if I start working on something up here and then I decide I want to go downstairs and take it with me well then it gets put away downstairs <laughs> I'm in my bedroom in case you can't tell sitting in front of my husband's nightstand because we have these drawers in our bed and that's where I keep some of my stitching <laughs> uh so here's what I'm going to do today. I should say, so today is like November, maybe 18th. My hair thing's coming out. Maybe like November 18th or something like that. It's a Sunday. This coming week is Thanksgiving. Don't chew on the cord, puppy. Um, yeah, so Thanksgiving is this coming week. Um, and that's part of the reason why I chose to do this now, other than the fact that, so Amanda and I were talking recently and she brought up like a whip parade and I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. And here's why. And I started saying like, you know, if I was going to do it, I'd have to do this and this and this. And then as I was talking about it, I was like, oh, I guess I kind of could do that. Couldn't I? <laughs> and then the idea got in my head. And I'm like, all right, I got to do it and I got to do it now. What do you want? Um, so yeah, I, now that it's in my head, like I have to do it. I have to go ahead and do it. What's going to kill me is not posting this today. I'm very much a like film the video, post it <laughs> kind of person. And so it's going to bother me to, um, to hold on to these clips. So I'm going to be filming a whole bunch of little clips as I like wander my house, like I'll do a part of my stash, right? Like I took, I just pulled all the bags out of the two drawers over here and we'll go through those. And I'm only going to be going through Marabilia's. If I see something else that I really feel like sharing, I might share it, but, um, I'm going to be focusing on Marabilia's. Give me one minute so I can get my son to take my dog out. Okay. I already like don't even know where I was. <laughs> my son's taking the dog out. Um, and I started bleeding from hay nail, so my daughter got me a band-aid. Anyway, so I'm gonna gather a section of project bags and I will share and then I'll put those away and I'll get another area and I don't know. This, it's not all gonna happen today. One reason I wanted to go ahead and get started though is we are going to our cabin for Thanksgiving next week. And so I will be able to film my Mara stash I have at the cabin. Cause that was part of, it. I was like, I don't even have everything in one house. Like, but obviously I'm like, there's ways around that, <laughs> like filming various clips and sticking them together. 
So my intention, you know, I don't like edit much, if at all. I've really struggled with that. My intention is to just film a bunch of clips when I can, and when I'm finally done, smush them together, and you'll get it. Um, I'm not going to go back through my patterns again. If you want to see me just go through all the Marabilia patterns. Did I ever go through my Nora patterns? I think I did. I think I went through my Nora patterns for you guys. Anyway, if you want to see that, just go back. My playlists aren't there. My, you know, channel doesn't have that many videos on it. There's a, a Marabilia like chart parade or stash parade or something. So I keep my like library of patterns in one place and they're like fresh and clean and good. Um, so that's the other thing about this. I should grab my iPad. Let me see if I can scoot it over here without having to get up. Ah, I can't. Okay. I am probably going to have to pull up, pull, up, pull up pictures for you guys. So all my patterns are in one place and that is not with the kits or the whips and stuff. I keep a working copy in the project bags. I don't keep like the photo and everything unless I've bought a second copy of the pattern. So some of these will have a copy of the pattern in it, like a, a legit, you know, like a store-bought copy of the pattern. Some of them will just have a photocopy in it, in which case I guess I'll try to look them up so you guys can see what they look like. Um, let me at least open Safari on my... Um, it's always funny when I open up Safari. I'm sure some of you go through this. I open up um, Safari on my iPad and like I see all these windows open that like because people in my family have been using my iPad. I'm like, what are you doing? Anyway, um, this is going to be a long video. I'm going to try to put it in one part. If I can't, then I'll split it up, but it'll be filmed with lots of little, little bits. Okay, so anyway, some of them will have a picture of the pattern, some will not. Um, I do keep a list of all of the Marabilias and Nor or Nora Corbett's that I have at least some stitches in. But I don't store all that information in my brain. <laughs> and um, I, um, I can't hit myself downstairs. Um, I don't store all that information in my brain and I also don't necessarily recognize what's in each project bag until I go into the project bag. Um, there's always a smaller set of whips that I have been getting more focus from me or have more progress on them. Those I'm going to recognize. Some of these I've, you know, only put a few stitches in and this is all going to also going to include like my kitted up Marabilia. So I'll go through and show you what I got for everything because I figure if you want to watch any of it, you probably want to watch all of it. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, last thing I think I wanted to say before I got started is that um, I've always been collecting Marabilias, but I have to say during the pandemic, like near the start of the pandemic, I had only recently really gotten into floss tube and definitely I like soothed myself in not the least healthy way. Like it was okay. Um, you know, during the pandemic, especially earlier on, by kidding up Marabillias. Like early on in the pandemic, I went through everything. Um, I made a record of what I had, like which Marabillias I had fully kitted, which Marabillias needed DMC or needed Krynic or needed beads. I definitely prioritized um, getting beads and Krynic since in, in water lilies, since those can change in dye lots or you know, especially like early pandemic when it was like scary. And certainly getting cross stitch supplies was not the scariest part, but you know, there was that like, the dog's back. There was that, um, you know, places shut down, you know, are we going to be able to get this or that and all that kind of stuff. So I definitely prioritized getting beads and water lilies and Krynic. Um, the lists I was keeping are way out of date now. Maybe I'll update that when I like watch this back, but, um, Anyway, and also during pandemic, I've said this before, that's when I really started buying a second copy of charts. I had done it before, but during the pandemic, I really ramped that up because I didn't want to be going out to get photocopies, which usually I've said this, talked about it in more detail before. I have trouble with photocopies more often than not that I get places. 
And so it was like, okay, I'm going to like endanger my life by going to the photocopy store to get a stinky photocopy that I can't even read to stitch from. I'm just buying a second copy of the chart. Plus, I love Marabilia and Nora Corbett. You guys know that. I was like, eh, I'll give her more money. It's fine. Doesn't bother me. Okay, you guys want to see some? I, If you keep count, let me know. I'm not going to keep count as I go. <laughs> this is going to be... Oh, it's so weird to be doing this when you guys already know how long this is going to take and I have no idea. Okay. And these are in no order. There's no like, there's no nothing. It's just, it's just random. You can see what I have. Okay. First thing I have is, okay. I'm just going to show you some of them. I'm not going to pull up all the copies. Um, I didn't excellently show a chart. Show a chart. All right, the Pond Pixies. I love the Pond Pixies. Um, I love this whole line. I want to say there's six of them. And these two must be two that I have a duplicate chart of. Because I have the others, um, the other four, I have photocopied charts in my bag. Um... But I know I bought all of them. These are this and the Bewitching Pixies and the Poison Pixies. And the Gather, there's like a Gatherer or Collector series. I was going to say like these and the, and the Bewitching Pixies are my favorites, but also the Poison Pixies and the Gatherers or the Collector series are also like way up there. Anyway, I got all these. <laughs> Um, all of the charts are in here. These are the only two I have duplicates of. And then I also have, I don't have DMC yet, but I have bead packs for the two that I have the duplicate charts of. And I have, I'm going to assume I have all the beads. No, um, no floss of any sort, but lots of beads and treasures. Speaking of which, I did go to the Wishalt site after hearing a lot of people talk about it recently, and apparently the petite beads, the, what are they called? Do I have any here? Um, Magnifica beads, they're not making. And I don't know if they're never making them again, or if they're just not making them now. On the Wishalt site, they have an announcement about that. Um, due to supply issues. So I'm not trying to freak anybody out. Somebody told me and my first instinct was to freak out. Um, but let's face it, I don't need any more beads, right? There are substitutes available. I'm not usually real comfortable. I wouldn't want to do like a whole conversion of most Marabilia charts, but like just switching out the beads, I feel much more comfortable with. Um, and a lot of people switch into Delicas anyway. So I'm not like panicked about it, but like, and I, I went to one, two, three stitch and all but one color was out of stock the other day. So if there is a Marabilia that you do really want to kit up, I would go ahead and do it. Cause I know most people aren't like me and haven't hoarded everything. So anyway, there's six, the six pond pixies partially kitted up. This one's not a Marabilia. Let's see what's in here. I don't even know what's in. Nope, that's not Marabilia. That's not Marabilia. All right, this definitely is. I have Princess Eliana. And um, this is a duplicate pattern. This is gonna be so hard, I'm gonna wanna go stitch all of them. This is gonna be so, so hard. This is just in um, a plastic bag for now. I do not believe it started. This is a fabric I dyed myself. And I believe this is Lugana, so I don't usually stitch on Lugana. Yeah, this is Lugana. That I dyed myself. Um, I don't usually stitch on Lugana, but um, 123 Stitch actually sent me some by accident in one of my orders. This was also kind of early pandemic and I started dying anything in my house. Like I was dying yarn and clothing and anything I could get hands on. They sent me some Lugana by accident and I was like, ah, oh, whatever, I'm just gonna dye it. So I'm gonna be stitching Princess Eliana on this beautiful blue. 
And I have all of her DMC. Looks like. Oh my god, there's one. So, ah, DMC. Water lily. Ah, they're so pretty. Five water lilies. And I might be missing something here and there, right? Like if something was out of stock. This is also where, like, let's say something's out of stock when I ordered and or like back ordered and they send it to me later this is when like beads show up in the mail weeks later and i have no idea what they went with so i have like a whole bowl of random materials downstairs so i don't usually buy the like pack of beads i usually buy like do on one two three stitch and like just click the buttons so i usually end up with loose packs of beads but i've got all of the i love the colors in her I love these colors so much. Like, just look at the water lilies. They're so stunning. I feel like she's, looking at her floss, she's much moodier, or has a much moodier vibe than um, just looking at the chart. I don't know. And I think I'm going to have to improvise too because I believe the pillows aren't stitched. And so if I'm not stitching her on the background color, I may have to fill in the, the pillows with white. But that's okay with me. That's not that much stitching. And I really don't want to do her on white. And there, this, in case you hadn't figured it out, yes, this video is going to be full of crinkling and zippers. And there's just, I guess I could do something about it, but I'm not willing to because it would add the amount of time this video is going to take more than I'm willing to to do okay winter queen so I clearly have a second copy of the winter queen and I think I have all of her materials but I haven't picked a fabric yet my dog's wandering in case you can hear her um so I've got the DMC I don't think she takes any there's one crinic it looks like I don't have Although I probably do have it downstairs in stash. Got Whisper. Um, and I've got beads. Lots and lots of beads. So I haven't picked a fabric for her yet. I, so obviously not something I'm imminent to be to be started. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what's in all these. Oh, what is this? <gasps> this is okay. Teaser. Black fabric, so that's awesome. Might be this way up. <laughs> Clearly a Wishel black fabric. I gotta look up the name of this one. I'm not remembering her name for some reason. I've got just a tiny start, and I know... What is her name? I'll, I'll pull up a good picture of her here in a minute, but right now I just have... A photo copy chart. Christmas elegance. I started this one on a trip to Germany. Um, my husband and I, we were supposed to be going with my in-laws. This is before we had children. My in-laws never made it because of massive snowstorm. They were never able to leave the States. But um, I took this and Santa's Magic with me and worked on them. Um, we went, it was like right, it was at Christmas. Um, so we got like the tail end of the Christmas, um, what are they called? All the like Christmas markets that they do in Germany and stuff. We got the tail end of, um, so I, I wanted, you know, I, when I travel with something, I often try to pick something that has like that feel or theme to it. So I started Christmas elegance for that trip. This is all I ever got done. But it is on my, um, it's kind of high on my radar as something to make progress on. And I have that fully kitted. Um, I've got all the beads and everything rolling. Oh, no, I don't have it fully kitted. It looks like, and I used to do this more, like especially if I was traveling with a piece, rather than like kitting all of the colors, um, what, especially because I'll jump all over, I just pulled a few of the flosses 
clearly I need to get the rest. Um, I knew this would, you know, it was like a 10 day trip or something. I knew this was plenty, you know, for 10 days of vacation stitching. So that's Christmas elegance. I might, I might keep that out. Oh, we'll see. All right, I'm pretty sure this one is Royal Holiday, which I'm gonna need to get a picture of for you because I do not have a second copy of the chart. I think this one, is this one out of print now? I'm not sure. I feel like it is. Oh, here's a bunch of images. There's Royal Holiday. Sorry about all the glare. Um, I've seen her stitched on green, like dark green, and it looked amazing. I think this is Lucana. I, I know I was going to stitch this and give it to my mom at one point. That's not actually going to happen. Um, I'll stitch it. I'm just going to keep it. Um, which kind of stinks because I liked the dark green idea. But this is not, um, this is not my, I love her. But she is not my favorite, like, Christmassy stitch. Um, oh, see, now I'm like, oh. Man, this is tough. Anyway, she's on a Lugana, I think, from Picture This Plus. I don't usually stitch on Lugana. Um, I bought more of it back in the day. I never bought a lot, but some. Keep her out, too. Okay. What else do we have here? Oh, Red Cabbage Sprite. See, this is one I have at least two copies of. Um... And it looks like I have her kitted, partially kitted, with water lilies and beads. And I pulled a fabric for it. This is a hand dye by Rolanda. I love hand dye by Rolanda. She sells a lot of um, like smaller cuts. Like for Marabilia's, I usually get a fat half, especially because I'm doing 28 count. Hand dye by Rolanda often has fat quarters or sometimes smaller. This is. Bigger. I haven't folded over, but um, I love her fabric. This is a better image of the color. Um, absolutely love her fabric. And um, she loves on things. Um, anyway, so I, I pick hers a, a lot for the smaller Marabilias or for the Sprites because, or the Pixies and that sort of thing, the Nor Corbett's, because um, they'll fit on them. Okay. You guys having fun yet? Which one's this? Oh, I've got a clay by Kim on it. Okay, this was the first um, mermaid I ever bought. And it's because of the tail. The tail reminds me of a patchwork quilt. I absolutely love it. And this is one that I got as a kit. Because some of them came as kits back in the day. Looks like the printing was like way off on it. Anyway have this. I also have the chart downstairs. It's my clay by Kim. For any of you who aren't aware, I definitely have had massive clay by Kim phases. So this is fully kitted since it came as a kit and I used the floss away bags and this one even came with spools of Krynik. I don't think I've started it. This is fabric I dyed myself. It's a Cashel 28 count the fat half that I dyed. Yay! And I love it. It's beautiful. I did a good job. But it is not started yet. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Until I looked, I wasn't sure if it had been started. But it has not. Okay. I also can't promise I'm not gonna accidentally miss some as I'm doing this. I don't know if I already said that. Um, there's just so many, and I could easily just mistakenly forget some. I'm thinking specifically of Buttercup. I have, I think it's Buttercup, Nora Corbett, in my car. 
because it's, I just keep one in there so that if I need to work on a Mirabilia while I'm out somewhere, <laughs> I have one. Um, and I, I may, by the time we're all done here, forget to uh, get it out of my car. So Le Nouveau Sampler, which the image always shows it in this um, like really dark fabric. I'm not sure it was actually stitched on something that dark. Um, I have it on, I almost guarantee this is an MCG Textiles Natural Linen. Is there a needle here? No, there's no needle here. That's all I have done. Part of the, this is starting around one of the butterflies, and this is part of like the garden and stuff at the top. So not a lot, but a decent start. Um, so yeah, this is fully kitted. I've got everything in here. That it requires I should be saying project bags or something this is a project bag I made they are my favorite kind but um, I don't want to spend my whole life making project bags so all right what's next ah. things just flying out primrose bridesmaid Assuming I must have two copies of this since I have one in here. Because when I do, when I have a chart somewhere like this, it does get messy, right? Like it gets beat up and I don't want to be like worrying about it. So if I'm going to keep it in, this is a Love You More studio bag. If I'm going to be keeping it in something like this, it's going to get, I'm going to, I'm going to have two copies of it. So I do have the bead pack for this and it looks like the DMC. Pardon me a moment. Life, 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 life. Thank goodness for multiple devices. Sorry. Okay. So I have the DMC. What else does she require? And the beads. Looks like that's all she needs. I haven't picked out a fabric yet. I did some fabric stash diving the other day to get some fabric for some like Christmassy designs I'm in the mood for. And, um, oh, it was fun. I hadn't really like been in my fabric stash for a while since I already have so much kitted up. But it felt good to get back in there. I love picking fabric for a design. The chart's getting caught up on the bead pack. There we go. Okay. Another Maravilla. This one's not started. I don't believe. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> um, this one's January's Garnet Fairy. And that's the other thing that I'll do if I have like a second copy. I'll write on it. Because you know what? That's what I want to do. I don't want to be really paranoid about my charts. I want to be able to write on them and do use them however I want to use them. So um, I like, I'll circle things, like I'll check things off and circle things that weren't available. I usually then forget to go back and mark down that I did in fact end up getting it. Um, this is also, it's a Fat Quarters Weigert. Is this Weigert? Oh, it's apparently 32 count. Oh, it was packaged as Weigert. I'm like, I don't think it's Weigert. I think it is Zweigert, but I don't know. Anyway, my my label, my homemade label, says it's a fat quarter of Zweigert, which it might be, but it might be from a package too. Um, you know, they at least at one point were selling them kind of packaged, but I dyed this myself. And I think she's going to look, I think she's going to look lovely on there. The color is definitely better back here. I think those wings will look lovely. I think they'll show those off well. And I have, nothing's like organized in here, but it looks like I have almost everything. I'm gonna guess I'm missing a couple of these Krynics that are circled and one of the water lilies. Although I probably have the water lilies somewhere, just not in here. But I've got most of the beads in Krynic and two of the water lilies. So certainly I could get her started if I wanted to. All that stuff in there. And I would tell you whose bag this was if I knew. 
but there's no label. I don't know. Looking at my fabric that I dyed again, though, I'm like, I gotta start stitching on more of that because it looks nice. Um, what is this? Nope, that's a lavender and lace. Um, I need to keep this out because there's something I need to do with it. Um, this is Feather Fairy. This is from um, Fern and Gilly, I think. Fern and, it's with a G. Jilly, Gilly on um, Etsy. I actually like fabric bags more than the vinyl fronts. I don't mind vinyl fronts, but I like these more. Um, and I love their bags. So I have her. I do not have a fabric for her. But I do have, she only takes one pack of beads. I do not have her Krynik in here, but it looks like I have all of her DMC. And her color, oh, I do have a Krynik. Never mind, I do have a Krynik. Um, her colors are way more, I've seen people say that before, like especially those greens. They're way more vibrant than you kind of get the idea from the front of it. So I do have something I need to do with that, so I'm going to keep it out so I can complete my task. All right, this is a bag that something came in from Fringe Supply Company, which is no longer in business. They made mostly knitting project bags that I loved. So this is Coral Charms, and it looks like I have her all kitted up, I think. DMC. I really could open a store. I don't know if I have the Krynik, but yep, I do. Krynik. And beads. Look how, look how bright these beads are. Oh, she's going to be stunning. I haven't picked a fabric for her yet, though. And I'm not intending to start her right away. What's in here? Okay, this, I think I've shown this before on a video before. I have a bunch of these. These are bags that sheets, like some sheets come from Target. And I basically took off the Velcro and added a buttonhole. I'm in buttons. I'm very anti-Velcro around my stitching because I don't want my stitching to get snacked. Um, so this is Circle of Friends. I love this one so much. You know what, while we're doing this, if any of you notice I have a Marabilia kitted up more than once, let me know. I can think of one design that I know I have kitted up more than once. On purpose, and it's okay. But that'll be funny if it turns out there's more than that. So Circle of Friends, I have, it, look, everything's in a jumble. But it looks like, and it, before I start stitching on it, I would put these in the floss away bags so they're not just like rolling around. Um, I've got Krynix and beads. There's more than that. There's more Krynix too. Wow, there's a lot of Krynix. Very colorful. Very, very pretty and colorful. She's gorgeous. I really like her. And I have, this is Haunted, from Picture This Plus, which I don't buy anymore. But I love Haunted, specifically. So I pulled that for her. The colors are like so bright when you actually, especially if you actually look at them in person, I think they're gonna look really great. Remind me of like three friends who've snuck out of their house at night or something to cast spells in the woods or something. I like the darker fabric for them. Okay, who's next? This one's not a Marabilia. This one is, and this, you know, I might have this one kitted up more than once, I'm not sure. This is Lilith, Lilith of Labrador. And I have her on a dark fabric as well that I will wash the crud out of before doing it. This is Mystic from Picture This Plus. Again, almost always my fabrics are gonna be 28 count casuals. 
and it looks like I have everything for her. Floss, water lilies, beads, and crinic. Uh, it looks like, because I circled some things, I might still, if, once I start her, I'll worry about it. I might still need to chase down a crinic um, and a water lily, but that's okay. And I have a stash of water lilies, too, that I don't even know what they go with. Oh, I was going to say, too, this is a massive tease. One of the reasons this is a good time to be doing this video is that I can't show you most of the stitching I've been doing. I've been working on the retreat piece. And um, that's a surprise for the retreat, so I can't show you. Um, this has no label but I'm almost certain that this is a picture of this plus and I must have two of these patterns I'm gonna stitch water lily on here and hope that that skirt stands out well enough that I mean that is like a very very fabric and I think it might look awesome we'll find out if I'm wrong I've got her DMC Krynik. Oh, there's a label at the bottom. It is Huntress is the color. It's opalescent Huntress. Got her beads. So she's all ready to go whenever I'm in the mood. Which I feel like might have to be soon. Alright. Who's this? This one is Pansy. And it looks like, this is one of my bags again, looks like I have her partially kitted. I have all of her beads and her crinic. Ooh, these are so pretty. I'm not sure if I grabbed all of them out of there, but it's just some of them that fell into my hands. I love that this looks like an umbrella. She's got a few that are like that, or at least a couple. And I just love that, but I also love the rain. So, I don't know. That made me made me go for it even more for that design. This is some Bewitching Pixies. I know that. I have all the Bewitching Pixies downstairs. I have multiple copies of a few of them. Um, this one's Gwen, Electra, and Minerva. My intention... Oh, there's so much. I want to stitch... I want to stitch all of them. I know a lot of people hate natural linen. I love it. So I am planning on stitching um, all of them on raw natural linen. I have two yards of raw natural linen. The color can vary on them. So I have two yards that I bought all at like the same time. And it looks like I have a lot of the beads for these specifically. I haven't kitted up all of them. Some of them may end up needing their beads converted one day, um, but I have those ready to go. This is a bag I made from Hawthorne Supply Company. Um, some of you, especially if you're a sewer, might already know about Hawthorne Supply Company. Um, I'll try to remember to link them below. If I can still remember by the time I'm done with this video. <laughs> Hawthorne Supply Company sells a lot of these bag panels. This one's printed on cotton canvas. Um, it basically comes on a big panel and you just cut out the pieces and like you sew them together. It's a simple like bag in a bag with the straps in between kind of thing. They have them in lots of different themes. They have some that are Halloween-y, they have some that are like sewing themed, some that are parent, like mommy themed. There's a bunch of them and they're really easy to make. And then they hold like a lot. Like this is a good bag for doing a bunch of, of pixies together. This one, oh, I feel like I might have this one kitted at the cabin too. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Miss Dancing Flower, who I really like. Okay, so it feels like everyone in the Brothers stitching Princess Eliana. And Princess Eliana is beautiful. But I am one of those people who, when I like see so much of it, I'm just like, oh, I don't want to see it anymore. So, um... This is, this is, this will, for me, will get stitched before Princess Eliana because, um, I just don't see it. I don't know that I've ever seen anyone working on it. Um, and certainly I don't feel like oversaturated with it. Um, 
sometimes I do this, I fold the floss into the fabric. So I've got all of her floss. Um, this is a very weird fabric. This was an experiment I did with dyeing. This had to have been ice dyeing. And this was ice dyeing. I usually dye with um, liquid writ if I'm using writ. Um, but I did some ice dyeing with my kids a year or so ago. This is a fat half. I typically will dye. I'll cut my fabrics into fat halves. Because I know myself and I know that if I didn't dye them a half, a fat half at a time, the best pieces of fabrics would be things that were too small. Like I would dye a, a fat eighth or a fat quarter and I would end up desperately wanting that fabric to stitch a certain marabillion on and it wouldn't be big enough. Um, also, because I'm not a business, when I'm dying, it's all like instinctual and just like mixing pretty colors, not keeping track of things. Um, so there, I'm, nothing's reproducible. But I actually really like how that turned out. That's kind of fun. And I think she'll look it on. So I got fabric in DMC. And it looks like I do have the bead pack for her. And I've got a water lily. So I'm guessing she takes a water lily. Or just one? Yeah, just one water lily. Oh, she's got lots of beads and treasures. I'm temp I'm kind of tempted to start her. I really have no business doing that. I'm not gonna start her. You'll see her. <laughs> My next regular floss tube is a whip. Okay, this is another one that's my fabric. This is also a bag that I made. Um, I uh, just use batting in these. I don't need them as stiff as like most actual bag makers make. Um, so I just, I, I prefer them with batting. Um, and this is Tula Pink fabric that I used to make it. And it's my own design. Um, this one is vinyl front, but like it's a smaller vinyl front. It's got more like fabric around it. I just like them that way. This one's waiting for ships. I'm going to have to look that one up for you because I definitely do not have two copies of it. If I did have two copies of it, I would be tempted to sell one on eBay. Um, whoops. This is one of her earlier mermaids. And I love her. She, oh, she's just, mm. she has kind of an, I don't, I might be wrong because I don't, I didn't study design. But she has kind of like an art deco-y, more um, like Renaissance kind of look to her. I love her. That's waiting for ships. I've got, I just tossed everything. My own fabric. Um, I do label them. Make all the little dust bunnies off them. This is MCG textiles, but it's an even one. Um, 32 count. I had a lot of old MCG textiles in my stash um, at the beginning of the pandemic. It almost all got dyed. So I've got a photocopy of the chart. I've got all of her it's flipped around. She's got like the star treasure. I've got all of her treasures and everything. And I might be, oh, there's a big one. Might be stitching her with Lisa when we are done with Garden Beauty. I haven't really decided yet, but I think she was one of them that was on the table. And probably, I've been thinking about her a lot lately, so probably the one I would vote for. So I might keep her out. Okay, I stitched Stargazer. I shouldn't be embarrassed. It's my hobby and it's fun and that's fine. I've stitched Stargazer before and I really want to stitch her again. I want to stitch her in like with a Halloween vibe. I want to do her on dark fabric and I've always said for me I would need to convert some of her colors if I was going to do um, a dark fabric um, for her. When I watch, so Jessie Marie from Jessie Marie Does Stuff, she converted hers to be a Virginia Tech kind of like memorial piece. 
Um, but that seeing that one is actually what inspired me to be like, Ooh, Halloween. <laughs> Like, it, she would be great, like, change to colors. But then, but I don't want it to look cartoony. So, anyway, this is my, like, my whip bag. This this bag doesn't have a tag either. Oh, yes, it does. This is from the Calculated Stitcher. Um, I have not decided what colors to use yet. The thing is, I don't want it to look cartoony. I want it to have, like, a Halloween vibe, like, purples and grays and greens maybe oranges or blacks I don't want it to be cartoony though so I pulled some floss as like some maybes but I really I'm not like happy with it um so this is like a, a project bag for like a very very slow progress on doing a conversion of stargazer to look more like explicitly like witchy and Halloween. So that's what that is. I have no idea what this is. It looks like it's probably Mirabilia. Oh, nope, it's lavender and lace. This is Firefly Fairy. This is just in case you're interested. The fabric I'm going to use for Firefly Fairies. I don't know if I mentioned it on here. I emailed the person who, I don't remember her name, the person who's like in charge of lavender and lace right now since Marilyn died and asked. Um, so I'm going to scoot forward so I can reach this other stuff. I hope I don't shake you. Um, I asked, because a while back she had said something about re-releasing it. Anyway, she said, yeah, it'll be ready in time for Christmas. Like for people to, oh, sorry for shaking you. For people to buy it for Christmas. But I don't know that that's actually happening. Okay. Crystal Symphony. I love this one. I have, and I've already washed it too, I can tell. This is a fabric from um, Country Stitches um, in New Zealand. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. I do love dark fabrics. So she's going to be stitched on that. And I cannot wait. I've got all of her floss in floss away bags. I've got her Krynix in here, and there are more Krynix than that, and there's more beads too, but I've got all of her beads too. So she's ready, she's even ready. So it can be so frustrating when like, I wanna stitch something and I realize, oh, I haven't washed the fabric yet. Because you guys know I pre-wash fabric, so I can wash things afterwards. It's just nice when the fabric's already washed, and I know I can pick, pick her up and start her anytime if I want to. Pardon me while I sip of water. All right, I've got a few more in this batch. And then I'm probably going to try to get through at least one more batch today. These live in these two drawers. And then I have a whole lot on the back of my bedroom door on those, like, command strip hooks. I'm going to try to at least get through those today. And then we'll see. All right, what's in here? Oh, these are, ooh. you know what? I have to say some of these, okay, some of these Nora Corbett's I do not have two copies of. I know that. Um, some of them I do, some of them I do not. And one of them is one I'm about to show you. Sometimes I will grab, I will take the chart and like to pick fabrics or whatever. Um, and I don't, like, it's it's not a project I'm actively working on. Before I actively start working on the project, I would make a photocopy of the chart, if it's one I only have one of, as a working copy, almost all the time. You're going to know why I'm explaining that here. I have Tiger Lily. Um, and this is a 28 count, picture this plus, plus, picture this plus. <laughs> crystal meditation um and this is tiger lily but this that's what i'm going to stitch her on um and th there'll be plenty left over too to do something else with i didn't even get to stitch two of them on there so i have tiger lily and i will make a working copy before <laughs> 
before I uh, mangle the chart. Um, and this is, uh, oh, this is old Silk Weaver. This is 28 Count Lugana from Silk Weaver before it had its current owners. If you've been watching me for a while, you've heard my severe dislike of the current Silk Weaver company. Um, but this is Morning Glory, and Morning Glories are probably my favorite flower. Well, um, moon flowers are, but Morning Glory is like the, um, it's like the same thing, but it blooms in the morning instead of at night, and usually they're more colorful. So, I'm going to put her on there. But that's all I have for those. I haven't, um, um, kitted them up beyond that. And I do keep, I have the full set of DMC in my house, um, but I do usually still will kit up a project from scratch. Or I'll kit it up from my DMC and then I'll replace anything taken out. Ooh, I love this one. The mermaids took longer for, to grow on me. Um, this is um, South Seas Mermaid, and I'm stitching her on Crystal Jazz from Picture This Plus. I think she's going to look really nice on that. Oh, she's going to look so pretty. Um, Are these the labels from Stitch and Frame Shop that just closed recently in Rock Hill? I feel like I bought this there. I bought a lot of Picture This Plus at Stitch and Frame back when I lived in South Carolina. And I think I have, if I don't have all of her, I don't have her DMC, but if I, if I don't have all of her floss and beads and crying, or sorry, beads and crying, I've got to come darn close. She is a blingy, blingy mermaid. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna make another mess and come back and see if I can show you a little bit more. Okay, I'll be back soon. Ready for more? I wonder how like far through we are at this point. And y'all know, I don't know. Oh, okay have this one kitted up. Rose Arbor. Love Rose Arbor. Are you stop knocking stuff around? Um, I love this one. I can't decide what to stitch it on. I've got all of her stuff. DMC, beads, Krynik, all of it in floss away bags. Um, I can't decide whether to stitch her as like a late evening scene which I think is where I'm leaning. This is um, from Country Stitch. Oh, come on. There's their label. This color is Cook Straight. I love their color so much. Um, or, I have no idea. I wanna say this is Heritage from Picture This Plus. Some of it turned out like more on the greener end, but I'm not positive. Um, so she's ready to go, except that I know I was hemming and hawing over which one to stitch her on. I think both will look great. I think this is a much more traditional look, and this, I, I think she'd really pop off the blue. Um, I'm pretty sure my husband was like, do both, because he's awesome that way. He knows, like, right, that I'd have to live 500 lives to get to everything. But he's like, yeah, just do both. So... I just kept both fabrics in here. This is another bag I made myself. Um, yeah, just kept it in here. Hey, Freya, don't cause trouble. Don't cause trouble. Can you lay down? Maybe. That would be helpful. Pretty sure this is not. There we go, yeah. This is, this is a Whip It Up project bag. This fabric. Um, this is where um, the man and the woman, the man's kissing the woman. Oh my gosh. Why am I blanking? The kiss. I said the man's kissing the woman and yet couldn't come up with the name of the chart, The Kiss. 
Clay by Kim, Fairy Door, Needleminder. And I also went back and forth a lot about fabric for this and ended up deciding to not stitch the sky um, and not stitch these like outer thingies. Um, I'm gonna st I'm gonna stitch her on. I just don't like the pink fabric. I don't. I just. I don't know. I can't get over it. So I'm gonna stitch her on this. And if you look online, you can see lots of people who have like filled in these columns. Hey, Liam. I apologize. That that was really bad. Liam, can you walk Freya, please? I haven't started her yet. She's one of my all-time favorites. Sometimes the favorites don't get started because, like, either I want to be able to focus on them more than I know I will in the moment, or, like, I might only have one or two of my favorites going at a time. Um, you can put it right there on the floor. Thank okay. you, Liam. You're welcome. Um, can I say hi? To no, you may not. Okay. You can say it from there. I'm not putting you on camera. Hi, Internet. That's my son, Liam. Bye, Internet. Um, he stitches too. Um, anyway, sometimes like I don't have as many of my like favorites going at a time. Um, also sometimes when it's a favorite, I might like agonize over fabric choice and stuff more and it prolongs the getting started process. Um, oh, I think this one is Maidens of the Seasons. No idea which way's up. Oh, I should. I, I don't have a second copy. Maidens of the Seasons is an out of print that's harder to get. I don't remember which one. One of them's harder than another. Because there's Maidens of the Seasons 1 and 2, and one of them is Fall, Winter, and one of them is Spring, Summer. But I'm going to stitch all four on one um, panel. Here's somebody who's done it. If you do them all together, it looks like that. I have no idea what I'm... I'm guessing from the way... No, that is right. Yeah, this is this has got to be upright. So I think that's probably spring I'm in the middle of stitching. Though obviously I haven't done too much on it. This is fully kitted. I do not have the... This is one of the designs that calls for... The floss that Nora's mother made or had died, like sp specifically for certain designs. What are they called? Needle paints. They're called needle paints. I only have a. Uh, um... Oh, this is one of my favorite Clay by Kim's. The pool. And this is one of my favorite Marabilia's ever. So I put one of my favorite um, Clay by Kim's in with it. Um, this is one that uh, calls for needle paints, and I have, I don't have the needle paints in here, I don't believe, but I have the needle paints downstairs in my stash. So yeah, they're downstairs. So when I get to that part, I think it's winter that takes them. I do have them to stitch with. Needle paints are very hard to find. There are conversion charts out there, but the needle paints colors, especially the Robin's Egg Blue range, I think there just isn't a good DMC conversion for and I've said this before I really wish a dyer would take up that mantle and start dyeing those flosses or something that replaces them um, this is a bag I made myself tulip pink fabric another bag I made myself also tulip pink fabric um, this one is mermaid of Atlantis another play by Kim have the chart hanging behind here. I've got everything in all the DMs. Oh God, I've got everything in floss away bags. Looks like I must have gotten stuff in two um, like groupings because there's also some Krynik down here and some water lilies. And Nora does reuse water lilies colors in multiple designs. You'd think I'd stop buying a new one for each design. Um, so not very much done on her. I'm going to start, this is fabric I dyed myself. Um, it's a cashel linen. 
I think this might actually be Charles Craft. I'm not sure though. So not much done. Some skin and some hair. But it's a start. I know some of you, I keep thinking about how like long this video is going to be, and I know some of you are just so gloriously happy right now, <laughs> however long this video is, because I would also be gloriously happy watching somebody else's. And those of you who have done them, thank you. Um, this one is um, Bluebeard's Princess. I have this one started. I actually know I started this one several years ago when I had my first foot surgery on my other foot. Not the one that I did recently. This is um, a country stitch fabric, which I really should not have started in the middle because I'm not gonna need this entire fabric. Now I tend to cut, like measure and cut fabrics down. I clearly did not cut this fabric down. But, um, there she is. She's going to look stunning. And I have her fully kitted because she's a whip. Once they're a whip, I almost without exception, like I make sure I've got everything ready to go. Um, and I do. Everything's on the, the ring. There's a ton of water lilies in this. I've got them all in there and all of her DMC and Krynik and everything. So she's all ready to go. This is another one of those bags from Hawthorne Supply Company where you just order the bag panel. I'd rather be, I'd rather be sleeping. Um, you just order the bag panel and sew it together. It's pretty easy. Okay. This is an empty bag. So we don't need that. Hi, Freya. Hi. Can you lay down? Oh, she's so cool. Can you lay down? Please. Oh, no, lay down. Lay down. She's confused because Papa's not here today. Lay down. Boop. Lay down. Nope. Lay down. Lay down. Nope. Lay down. <laughs> That's not laying down. <laughs> That's bending your knees slightly. Okay. Got the whole chart in here. This is Lily of the Woods. This is one of my early favorites. Back when I first discovered Marabilia, um, I hate that glare. Um, this was one that just took my breath away. It's just, she's so stunning. I haven't, I don't think I've started her. Hold on a minute. No, I haven't started her. But, okay, so this is a fabric by Country Stitch. I have um, cut the fabric. See the rough edge at the bottom? I never bother to serge. I have cut the fabric, um, you know, to the right size. I think she's going to look amazing on purple. Oh, I think she's going to look stunning. I need to stitch her. I need to get her started. Right, sit down. Um, and I have, I think I have everything for her. Oh yeah. I've got all of her floss and, cry and Krynik on floss ring. And there are a ton of beads. I mean, there's, there's a lot of treasures and things too. There's just a ton. Um, I, it's, there's a lot. I think cause she has lots of treasures. She was probably pretty expensive to, to get up because of so many treasures. Um, this one, I do not have, what is this one called? I don't, this is Miss Cherry Blossom and I do not have a second copy. So let me look up a picture for you. Freya, you're welcome to lay in my lap, but stop nosing at everything. Miss Cherry Blossom. I really want to see her finished in person. I'm stitching this on a Wishel. I was working on this somewhat recently. This is a plain um, Wishel, not like a hand dyed. I like her. Is 
sometimes I just really get in the mood. She's enjoyable to stitch. Um, and I have her fully kitted. I got everything. She's in a canvas bag from REI. <laughs> Turn anything into a project bag. Oh, oh, this is one, a favorite that I still haven't started. Mooka. Try that again. Mooka. <laughs> I do, I love the photos, but I hate the way they fall out. Um, Mooka is just stunning. Um, but there's so many of them that are so stunning that even though this is a favorite, I doubt I'll be starting her, you know, soon. Um, I have a coloring cotton pulled for her called Camelot. Oh, it's really nice. She's going to look good on that. It's not quite as like minty green as the call for, but I think she's going to look really good. And I, when I choose fabric, I do like a full floss toss. And then that was something I was just doing, especially early in the pandemic. I was gathering supplies and like matching up my fabric, right? And like doing floss tosses and stuff. Got all of her stuff ready to go on a floss ring. I haven't washed the fabric yet though. Yeah, so even though she's a favorite, I don't think she's gonna get started anytime too soon. Let's see. This one I need to get back to. Mother's Bliss. It's beautiful. The, um, so this should be a quick stitch. This is not stitched. The apron. Um, I am changing the color of the, um, the baby's, I don't know, the blanket thing the baby's wrapped up in. This is very inexpensive cheat up. This, or to cheat up. To kit up. Um, there's actually more DMC than I expected, but it's just DMC. I think this one might be out of print though now. Um, oh, I need to get back to this. This is ridiculous. I feel like this has got to be a wish old fabric. Mm. You can't even see yet, but like I have part of the, the baby's bonnet stitched up there too. I love this one. I don't think it is wishful. It's not stiff enough. What is it? I don't know what it is. Oh, it might be the, I have some like Irish linen or something from back when I had LNS. I, oh, here it is. Here we go. 29 count ivory from the Heart's Content Glenshee Linen. That's what that is. I'm trying to figure out what, what the heck it is. Okay. The things that hang on the back of my door tend to be things that are like more favorites of mine. Like, I want to make sure that they don't somehow get lost in the shuffle somewhere else. Um, so, they're hanging behind, behind my bedroom door. I need to look up another cover picture for you. I wish I saw this one more often because I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. Red Lady Pirate. Um, Lisa from Cross by Floss. Has been working on this one lately. And I have this one fully kitted up. It's an actual whip. Barely. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a picture of this plus, like Arctic or something. There's my whip. I remember starting this a couple of years ago. Or a year and a half ago. I, yeah, probably a couple of years ago. Because um, I love it so much just being like, I just got to start it. And... <laughs> Apparently I got a dozen stitches in and that was it. Um, but I've got everything for it. And my floss away bags, ready to go. Almost done with things on the back of my door. I don't know if this is even cross stitching. 
What is this? Oh, that's Trace Winslow. And this one is Garden Beauty. This is the one I've been working on with Lisa. I'm not gonna pull up a cover for this. You guys, have, if you follow me, you've seen it recently and I have enough stitching done on it that you'll get the idea without me having to pull up a picture. So this is on an old Silk Weaver fabric and Garden Beauty. And so Lisa and I meet together most weeks, once a week, and um, get a few hours of stitching time in. I love how she is coming along. She is very fun, even though the top half that I've been working on has quite a lot of confetti in it. She is very, very fun. And I think I'm gonna have her done in time for the retreat, as long as Lisa and I keep, keep meeting and kicking some butt on it. I'm pretty excited about that. This is also Tula Pink Fabric Project Bag made by me. <laughs> you can tell some of the fabric that I like by my project bags. Okay. That was a lot. I might do some more. I'm thinking about it. I'm kinda in the mode. We'll see. I'll be back at some point. It might be today. It might be another. It doesn't matter, right? You, For you, it's one continuous video, <laughs> hopefully, or multiple videos that get put up at around the same time. Um, I just need to figure out when in my schedule I'm going to do more. I'll be back with more soon. <laughs> All right. I gathered up some more. This is fun. It's just also exhausting. This will probably be my last batch for today. Um, so this one is one of the newest Marabilias. Uh, it's MD183 Lavender Mist. I love this one. I love the color palette. It just, it just hits me right in the right spot. I love it. I do have, um, all of the components for this one. I just got the floss the other day, the DMC floss. Um, but I need to put everything in one place and pick out a fabric. Um, for her, but I do have her, do have her kitted up. I don't know what's in all of these bags. Oh, that's a lavender, or yeah, a lavender and lace. That's not. What's in here? Oh, I think I know what's in here. Okay. Caroline in pink and Lauren in blue. Let's see if I can pull those up for you. Um, I have them together. They're going to be done in the same fabric. They're basically just like busts, like, you know, headshots. Okay, well, there's Caroline in pink and Lauren in blue. And um, I have them kitted up to do on... Oh, I think I've just already cut it in half. This is Hand Eye by Rolanda. It's got to be Hand Eye by Rolanda. I hope I don't have that wrong. It's got to be Hand Eye by, by Rolanda. So they're going to have this fun swirly background. They're big, but they're not huge since they're just like the heads. And again, I have all the beads. These are super expensive to kit up because of the treasures. They each have a ton of treasures on them. Um, I was, yeah, it is hand out by Rolanda. I was thinking I might start these while I was recuperating from surgery, but then I never did. But there's just so many treasures. And I actually, so like I went through, so I wouldn't have so many packages and like condensed, because you might only get like one or two or something treasure per package. I went through and like condensed them all into one and threw out extra packaging. Um, I want to get these started sooner rather than later. I really like them. I believe they're out of print. Um, I have working copy photocopies as working copies in my bag. You doing okay, Mads? Do you need anything? Can you go to the basement? Because we got a ton of them in the basement. Or if there's something, well, we just got a whole box of them the other day. 
And if there's something else you need that we don't have, let me know. Um, I'm not going to pull up a picture for this one, but I've started the, uh, it's like the letters for mermaids. This is the letter A. I saw somebody else had it stitched and it was stunning. This is some sort of 32 count hand dyed, I don't know what, <laughs> that I'm stitching it on. Um, this is a nerd hoop. It's very light and there's like definitely some good points in it. I do use it in bed because it's so light and like, even, especially if I'm like leaning back, it's very easy to stitch on. But I would not make this my like go-to hoop for all the time. I can't get the fabric as tight as I like it when I'm using a hoop. And then in here I also have, I'm not going to pull a picture for this one either. I've been stitching Bella Rose. This is from, Nora has these few, well it's two patterns, but each pattern has two women's heads in it. So there's four total. Um, this is Bella Rose which I've been stitching and I can do, I have room for Bella Hydrangea, which is the other one on, the other one from this chart on the other part of the fabric. And I'm not gonna frame these or anything. I actually, I'm gonna turn these into little pillows. Some people turn little prim things into pillows. Turn Marabellia. Okay. This is very confusing. There's just, oh, sorry. There's a lot going on around me. Um, this one is not a Marabillia. I have no idea what this one is. Not a Marabillia. I do stitch things other than Marabillias. This one is a Marabillia. This one's Cinderella. I'll pull up a picture. Um, I've talked about it before. My mom has stitched Marabellia Cinderella. I don't know, like I'm guessing it might be mine one day, but you never can tell. Um, so there's Cinderella. Um, my mom stitched her on a light fabric. I want a nighttime Cinderella. Since you know, the party's over at midnight and all. So that's where I am with this. This is on Picture This Plus. I want to say maybe Gothic or maybe Gothic? Phantom? It's either Gothic or Phantom. I am sorry if you're shaking. Stuff's falling. And this is on another one of those bag panels from um, Hawthorne Supply Company. This one's printed on like quilting cotton instead of cotton canvas. I think a, a lot of their stuff is like print to order, so you can choose, kind of like spoon flower. Hi, Maddie. You can choose your fabric. Yes, Maddie. Oh. Do you want to use some of the wheat thin crackers from the counter, maybe? There's wheat thin crackers, which we don't, we almost never have. You can try some of those. You can put some peanut butter on some crackers. Or you can... We have saltines. Itchy nose, sorry. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there's fruit, there's yogurt. I think those are your options. And I can get some more snacks tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Can I go back to my floss tube in? Five o'clock probably. Maybe four thirty. She is so cute. Are you hanging around because you know I'm recording? Ooh. Okay. Love you, babe. She won't. I'll make sure she won't, sweetie. Um, this is Garden Muses which I've been working on for ages, not very consistently. Um, and that's where I am. Lately I've been feeling like working on her more. So she's actually gotten quite a bit of work this year. Okay, I'm not sure the best way to like organize this. All right, I know that one's not a Marabilia. 
I keep this big bin, and you can't see the whole thing, um, next to my side of the bed. That one's not a Marabilia. Not a Marabilia. I don't think this one is. Sorry, I have to look. I don't know. Unless I look. Oh, that's a full coverage, so definitely not a Marabilia. Teresa Wensler. Um, this one's a Marabilia. This one is Fairy Treasures. It's gonna be really funny if at some point I show you one or I tell you that one of them is something and it turns out to be something else. But I'm pretty sure this is Fairy Treasures. Or Fairy Treasure. Treasure Treasures. you can still get this one. I don't know that it was ever super popular. I don't think I've ever seen anyone stitching it or maybe only once. So um, it's definitely still out there and available. This is a Lugana, 28 count Lugana hand dyed by me. So this is the box she's holding and this is like her waist and like the top of her, the bottom of her dress, the top of the bottom of her dress. Fairy Treasures, bag made by me. I certainly have enough, I'd show you the front, but now you can see the chart. I made that one. It's Fern and Gilly. I, it might be Jilly, I don't know. Not Marabilia. I think this one's Marabilia, it is. This is one of the Christmas trees. Um, I wasn't like a huge fan of the, the Christmas tree kits, but this one I rather liked. I don't think I've done much on it. I just started it last Christmas, I believe. And this is a hand dye by Rolanda, I think Alma. We just started a bit at the top. And I wanna keep this one out because I might take this one to our cabin this week been in a very Christmassy mood. Um, there's something I can show you in here. There's a couple of projects in here. One of which, I don't have a good picture of it, but this is my dragon, my Nora Corbett dragon from her Patreon. And I haven't been working on this lately because I've been working on the retreat piece. But I do want to get back to this sooner rather than later. And this is um, also a Charles Craft. So this was a Charles Craft linen, like a natural linen that I dyed. And you can get some pretty cool dye effects by not always dyeing white fabric. So that's what I did here. And I like him on that. Not a Marabilia. Not a Marabilia. That's a full coverage. I don't think this is a Marabilia. Not a Marabilia. Another Fern and Gilly bag. Oh. 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 Hold on. What is it? <laughs> Everything's a mess. Okay, I'm I'm thinking. So I bought okay, there here here's your make fun of Amy moment. I knew I I knew I thought I knew. Oh, I am so sorry that I had bought the floss for her like the DMC, but I couldn't find it. It was driving me nuts. I couldn't find, ooh, jeez, I'm sorry. Could not find it. Finally gave up and I'm like, I'm just gonna have to, I'll just go buy it again. So I went and bought the DMC again. I bet this is it. I bet I bought it from one, two, three, stitch. Okay, hold on. Nine, six. This is totally for her. pick fabric. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with a stack of fabric or stack of floss downstairs that I <laughs> also bought for her. All right, what's in here? Another fern and gilly bag. Oh, oh. my husband I thought right because I'm trying to stop buying two copies of all the stinking charts right so the I thought I had two copies of this and then I couldn't find the second copy and so I was like I guess I don't have it and I had my husband go photocopy it here's the second copy pretty sure I also went and bought her DMC and stuff Awesome. Awesome. Also free chart. There's free charts that come in the Fern and Gilly bags. Um, they're actually quite good. I like them. Um, not three for tea. Tea. That one's just called tea. That Mary Billy is just called tea. And I have it fully kitted. I just haven't picked a fabric. I just found the sticker. Um... This one is not a Marabilia. This is my Dark Queen of the Sea. I'm going to show you my Dark Queen of the Sea just because so many of you have worked on her. Um, mine is not even close to done. I pooped out eventually. I'll get back to her. But that time is not, is not now. Ouch. Stab myself with a needle. I'm still waiting on my materials, the rest of my materials from, sorry, that was hitting the cord this time, from um, Under the Sea Fabrics. That would be cool if I could get the rest of my materials. What is that? Huh. I don't know what anything is. I just found that. Okay. This, I have all of the, oh, I don't want to show you the chart. This is Bliss Fairy. I have all of her materials. I've got her DMC and beads. Did she take other stuff? Yeah, just DMC and beads. Bliss Fairy. And I know I have the other one that kind of like matches her. I'll kit it up as well. It's nice to go through all this from time to time. No idea what that is. That's a bulk. Are you guys having fun? I really hope you got like, I don't know, something really interesting to be doing. Um, so this is Angel Proclamation. is beautiful. I have, I think, all the DMC. This one. All the DMC. Let's see what else it takes. It takes Whisper. I do have a little bit of a, um, what's the word? Stash of Whisper. Um, and I have the Hyacinth Water Lily. I just didn't have it in here. Um, and at this, actually reading this just answered that question for me. I have some hyacinth downstairs that I had washed. I was like, I have no idea what this goes to. Apparently, it goes to this one. Um, and yes, this is very big. On 32 count, it's like 11 something by 25 something. Like fractions of an inch. I know my reading glasses on so I can't read it. I have a half yard of MCG textiles. 30 by 36 inch piece. I'm looking to see if it's even enough. It's not very even. I might save this for something else. I'm gonna save this for something else. And I'll find a different fabric, but I'm probably just, I, I, I have um, natural linen um, downstairs in my stash, and that's probably what I'm gonna do this on. Um, I like things on natural linen. I feel like natural linen looks just like classic and classy and just lovely um, and I want these angels and their dresses and clothing to pop off that fabric and the ribbons the ribbons beautiful and I want that to pop I don't have the ribbons for this though um, 
but I want the ribbon and everything to pop off better than the um, better than they do off the white or cream fabric. So that is not Arabilia. I'm gonna end up in trouble because I'm gonna like box myself in and not be able to get. Oh, I think I know what this one is. Enchanted Mermaid. Okay, this fabric, can I just say, I'm not a huge Winnie the Pooh fan or anything. Like, I'm a, you know, I like him, but I'm not like, you know, some people are fans. I love this line of fabric, though. This came out, I think, at Walmart 20 years ago. And one of the first quilts I ever made, and we still use it on my bed, is made of this Winnie the Pooh fabric. My husband loved Winnie the, Winnie the Pooh, and um, I, wanted some, I wanted to make, like, a Winnie the Pooh quilt, but that didn't use such like obviously juvenile kind of fabric you know like I want it to look like a little bit a little bit classier and I love this fabric so when I saw people I don't know if they re-released the fabric but not that long ago I started seeing more people like coming out with project bags with a fabric and um I snapped some up because I love the fabric so Enchanted Mermaid she is extremely expensive to kit up um, just getting like, not the DMC, but like Bees, Treasures, Krynik, and all that is well over a hundred dollars. She's super expensive, but also worth it. A lot of people have stitched her and she's beautiful. Um, there's a different, this is the one that I always want to call Queen Mermaid. She's not the Queen Mermaid. There's another mermaid called Queen Mermaid. Krynik. Bees, Treasure. Look at all, look at all that. In my floss ring. It's more beads and treasures than DMC floss. That's like, look, here's the floss. All of that is beads and treasures. That's crazy. It's gonna be stunning though. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. Don't have room. This one this came as a kit and I feel like I got it like super cheap somewhere like a short store that was going out of business or something this is one of the little stitches I think I also have a separate copy of this chart somewhere this one's our grandmother's quilt LS4 um, and I, this, again, I have this as a kit with some opalescent Ada. And I'm probably going to stitch it. And on the, on the, I mean, I don't usually do Ada, Ada but I came with it and it's cute and I'm probably going to stitch that. Um, I'm going to take just a minute to put some of this stuff back in here. <laughs> just a little. Because like every time something touches the cord it's knocking you about and I'm sorry all right what is that? that's not a Maribelia not a Maribelia this is a Maribelia which one is this oh I know what this is this one went me to Hawaii um, so these are some of her freebies. I'm not going to pull pictures. If you go to Marabilia's website, the section for freebies, this is a retreat. Um, this is for a, a Little Mermaid she did for an Australian retreat several years ago. That was stitching on this. These were whips I took with me to Hawaii. Um, and then she also has a hula dancer. And this is on a um, crosswind collection. So there's my start on the hula dancer. I sat on the beach. I didn't make much progress. We were, you know, busy while we were in Hawaii. Um, there's my start on the hula dancer. And my focus definitely shifted to, sorry, I can hear my dog barking, shifted to our own retreat piece for the Queen City Stitch Retreat, um, you know, here in recent weeks. Okay also a bag made by me 
Tula Pink fabric. Tula Pink's fabrics just make the best bags. They're like these beautiful big, this isn't even one of the bigger scale prints, but they're just, they're just beautiful, big scale prints and I love it. All right, so these are some of the collector series. So again, these are the duplicates that I have. So these were probably, I was like, I'll probably start those first, so I'll grab them. So this one's the Berry Collector, the Rain Queen, and the Leaf Collector. I know I have at least one more of these downstairs. I, oh my gosh. So I've got a couple of the bead packs for two of them. And I've got, probably for the other one, I've got more beads. I've got a Water Lily. I've got Crinix. And I have a hand dyed fabric that I did. It's a 28 count cashel. I have a fat half of it. It's only part of it. Um, it's kind of like a, a grayish purpley blue tone. It's be I love it. It turned out so great. Um, my plan is basically to keep stitching them on here until I run out of it. And then if I'm still stitching more, want to stitch more of them, I'll, I'll use something else for the others. But I think they're going to look good on, on that. I forgot about this one. I should just learn how to cut things out and then I wouldn't have to admit this kind of stuff. I'm gonna cough. <coughs> Excuse me, I really needed to cough. If you're keeping score, yes. I already have Lily of the Woods kitted up that beautiful deep purple fabric. Well, apparently I also felt like she really needed, oh, Gaia, this is Gaia from Be Stitch Me. I've got a fat half, look at it. It goes through like yellowy greens, blues, purples, and then back to blue. Oh, it's so stunning. Mmm. The color's a bit deeper than I feel like it's showing on the camera. Well, that's better with it folded over. So she might get stitched twice. I do not have the DMC twice for her. Oh, you guys are gonna kill me. I do have all the beads and treasures. You know, we all coped through the pandemic differently. And that's how I coped, apparently. Um, that's not a Marabilia. Oh, here's a Nora Corbett. I feel like I need to restart. It's just not good. Um, I started this so long ago before I was like quite as comfortable with all the over dyes and stuff. I have no, this is some sort of Lugana fabric. I don't need to start it over, but I didn't want to buy at the time, I thought you had to stitch. Like I was too too into rules, right? And thought like you had to stitch an over dyed floss one stitch at a time. And I knew I didn't want to do that. So I wasn't gonna buy the over dyed floss for it. So I just went to my DMC stash and like picked things out that I thought would look fine. And they do look fine. But I also, now I'm like, you don't have, right? Like I don't stitch over dyed flosses one X at a time because I don't want to. I could have bought the over dyed flosses Anyway, I don't know. That's what I have. I don't even have all the materials pulled. It's a very simple one. My middle name starts with L. If you're wondering why I'm stitching an L. I just thought she was beautiful. So, oh, got stuff for the L. Fairy. 
I hope my phone can handle all of this. All right, this one is, I do, okay, I have this kitted up a few times too. This is Fairy Roses, and I this is a copy that I ordered relatively recently, and it came like this. I have never seen anything like that before. Um, I don't know why I pulled the chart out. Um, not Fairy Roses. Fairy Roses? Yeah, Fairy Roses. This is the one that was published as like a Nora chart. Um, I don't think I've started this one. I haven't started in a couple. This one is going to be mine that's stitched um, per the chart. I started one that I did with a conversion. This is a country stitch fabric. Um, it's called Bay of Islands. Their colors are just so vibrant. Um, and this one's been washed, so I can go ahead and stitch from it. I've got this fully kitted up. It looks like to go ahead and start, I've got all the materials. Again, project bag made by me from Tulip Pink Fabric. Um, yeah, this one is the one that I'm planning on stitching to look like the cover picture. Um, I have another one that I've started that I think is at the cabin or somewhere um, where I've converted the wings to be all like one colorway instead of changing colors like that. Okay. So I'm going to pack some of this stuff into here because I've got a whole other big, excuse me, container that I pulled to go through. This is crazy. finding things as I'm doing this. That's good. Those are socks. <laughs> like socks I'm knitting, not like random socks. That's needle points. What is this? This is Bianca Bella, which I have not started, but I feel like that's kind of ridiculous and I should be starting her. I, I don't know when I'm actually going to get to her. Um, I looks like I need her DMC. I've got her bead all the beads. I need her bead pack. Oh, just wait till you see the fabric I'm stitching her on. I've got her water lilies, which are beautiful. And then I am stitching her on country stitch. you I apologize if I'm pronouncing this wrong. You're aware of mist. It'll show it. You're aware of mist. Oh, their fabric is so gorgeous. It blends better than it's looking in the camera there. Like in the camera, it looks like there's these blobs. That's not how it looks in real life. Um, I mean, they, there is the mixture of color, but like, in the camera, it looks like a honeycomb and it doesn't look like that. Like in, the, in, in real life, I think this is darker. It's a lot darker. And so it's more of like this beautifully blended. Oh, I'm sad you don't get to see the real effect of the fabric because it's so stunning. I think she's going to look gorgeous on that. I think her light colored dress is really going to pop. So it looks like I need to get DMC for her because I don't have anything else to stitch. What else? What marabillias are in here? Those aren't, what's this one? Oh, that's not. I'm trying to find things. All right, I'm just gonna have to actually take them out in order to see. This bin's kind of far for me. I don't even know if I have any. That's not. Apparently this is one. What's this? Oh, okay. If 
Venetian opulence. Am I right? Yep, Venetian opulence. I think I have everything. The colors, I mean, they're just such gorgeous jewel tones. And I've got beads rattling around down here. Does she take Krynik? I might be missing Krynik, although I probably have it somewhere. So Venetian Opulence, I have at least mostly kitted. Um, this is a Wisholt natural linen. I've got to stitch it on. Um, I don't mind Wisholt. I know some people hate it. I don't mind it at all. This would be a 28 count. And I have quite a lot of it in my stash from back in the day when hand dyed fabric wasn't so commonplace. Um, and I'm going to use it. So, what else? Oh, not that. What's this? It's a kit. We might be, I think this is the last one for right now. Your video will continue. I'll be back with more. This is, what's this one called? I don't usually go for the houses. This one drew me in. Love this one. Gothic house. And I have the bead pack. And I've got, looks like a water lily in there. I still need to get the DMC. And I've got this small piece. I dyed this myself. It's a piece I dyed myself. And I'm pretty sure it was cut, it's opalescent. Well, it might have been a remnant, but I also might have like cut this off of something else. Like the bigger piece might be hanging out with a marabilia somewhere. Okay, I'm done for the day. That's a lot of work. It's fun. It's fun going through all this stuff. But I'm exhausted. So, and there's no telling when I'll be back at it. You guys probably don't care. Because like I said, the video is just like continuing for you. Or this is a part one and I'll put up part two. Or I'll start part two in a couple days. Alright, I'm going to clean up. And I'll be back probably wearing something else on a different day. I still need to go through everything that's downstairs in my house. And there's two main areas where I keep things downstairs. Still need to go through everything that's in the trunk at the end of my bed. Everything that's in the drawers on my side of the bed. Because we went through the drawers I purloined on my husband's side, but not my side. And everything that's in... I'm going to clean up. Back soon, guys. <laughs>